This is going to potentially impact here about 40,000 people as this storm rolls off towards the northeast. Burlingame here at about 215, so that's just in a few minutes here. Burlingame, you need to be inside your house, away from windows. As long as you're on the northwest side of Lawrence, uh, this is a very serious situation right now. Off into a Buncey County. If it restructures, we may see a reissuance of a tornado warning with this storm. In front of me, and I believe it is on the ground, Matt. I cannot stress enough, these storms have in Tense rainfall out of them with the potential here for quarter sized tail and in what three miles south of where that that wall cloud looks like it is three, three miles south of that wall cloud that is correct okay County that's going to take it just north and west of the Lawrence area severe thunderstorm warning in effect we have about one inch diameter hail expected out of this storm also notice incredible amount of lightning and very 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 heavy rain can you still hear me I can hear you yes okay uh, live right now Alex Harrington Matt Watt. We're heading to the east on I-70, keeping up with this tornado as it moves along I-70. We're going to put a track on this at about 30 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour towards the east. Southeast is going to put this into Baldwin City here within the next 15 to 30 minutes. Could see some wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour. Risk we would not be surprised to deploy the storm tracker out to the west to follow these storms into the 49 viewing area. For South off the turnpike, moving towards the turnpike, a tornado on the ground. Right okay, now. that is where we're looking at the potential here for one inch diameter hill and in fact I think I have a quarter here that's about the size of a quarter no, absolutely move east again um, on the ground. Oh, Actually, this is excellent know. news. Excellent news here that we're getting across the wire from the National Weather Service that it does look like that the storm that has uh, had a history of producing tornadoes at this time has since weakened and no longer posing a tornado threat in northwestern Morris County. So